It's Friday. It's 5.45. 4.45? It's 4.45. Shit, it's late. It's nearly dinner time and this one word is inspiring me right now. I've been listening to this video by Casey Neistat, How To Be Heard, just basically talking about his journey and how he got from you know where he was doing branded content to starting a startup to vlogging and to becoming the brand and the person that he is today and i have just come off of about three to four hours of doing emails and doing admin and dealing with the previous rental that i was at um, doing stuff for, on property my business and just coming to realize that my focus is very, very, very split. It's split between melee and what I'm trying to pursue. And it's split between the current businesses that I run. Now, my businesses are great. They basically run themselves. I don't have to spend a lot of time doing it. But they do hang over my head. They do require part of my time and I don't work that much or get that much time to myself given that I've got family, three kids. I like to spend time with my wife and my kids. Um, I just wish projects. I just wish this is something that I thought about a while ago. I think I heard it from Seth Godin where he talked about how he does project work and rather than I wonder if I still got the email from it actually I'll go have a look while I'm talking um, but basically rather than just doing things and creating a job or creating a business with employees and stuff like that um, he just works on projects he just works on my scale, your job versus your project. Oh, I found it. Yes. Okay, okay. Let's go down. Let's make this down here. Let's go quarter screen. Okay. Move my little face out of the way. Your job versus your project. Jobs are finite, specified and something we get. Doing a job makes us defensive, limits our thinking. The goal is to do just enough not get in trouble, meet spec, when in doubt, seek deniability. Projects are open-ended, chosen and ours. Working on a project opens the door to possibility. Projects are about better, about new frontiers, about making change happen, when in doubt, dare. Jobs demand meetings, and the key word is later. Projects encourage now. You can get paid for a job or a project or not. The pay is not the point, the approach is. Some people don't have a project, only a job. That's a choice and it's a shame. Some people work to turn their project into a job, getting them the worst of both. If all you ever had is jobs, a habit that's encouraged starting in first grade, it's difficult to see just how easy it is to transform your work into a project. Welcome to Project World. Now the idea of this, right? The idea of this jobs over projects, projects over jobs, I mean, is that you do something, like you really do it and you put your all into it, but you do it and it's done and then you can move on to something else. And that's something I never designed into my business. Actually, that's something that I designed into some websites within my business, publicspeakingpower.com. Go and check out that website. I haven't touched that in about six years doesn't make much money, but I haven't touched it in six years and it still makes me a little bit of money every single month. It was a project that I worked on. I thought it was going to be a job, ended up being a project. Um, but the main source of my income is not a project. It's a job and it's ongoing. It's a really great job. Doesn't require a lot of work. But the work it does require is boring, suppressive, de-stimulating, and the antithesis of exciting. I don't know if antithesis is the right word there. I kind of went out on a limb. It's basically not exciting, is what I'm trying to say. Hmm. 
I guess just watching this Casey Neistat video, like watching how he did projects, move from one thing to the next, but like getting to the point where you've done a project, but then you're set up in some way that you've got freedom to pursue the next thing and that you don't need the last thing to pursue the next thing. That's the goal, right? That's the goal. So projects. I don't know how this is going to play out in becoming best. I don't know how this is going to play out in melee or in my business, but this is definitely something that I am going to think about because I want to dive fully into becoming the best. I want to dive headlong into it. I want it to be a project that I work on, that I give my full inspiration into, but that requires projects and it requires previous things to be done and it requires me to be set up to move forward. So now I've got to work out how can I get to the point where things are so set up that I can fully focus on Melee and not still focus on my previous business stuff. I've always been really excited by projects, not by jobs or not by ongoing things. So this is a really exciting thing for me to be thinking about right now.